Good morning, all. How are we this morning? Morning, Russell. Morning, Russell. Thanks, morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. Hi, morning, everyone. Morning, Russell. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let us begin our day in our prayer in the name of God, the Father, the Most High, mighty and merciful, our Creator, our Father. The name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior of our lives, and yet our friend. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, the God who is with us, lives in us, never leaving us, no matter what. Thank you, Father, for being here with us, for us. For giving us the gift of your presence, the gift of life, the gift of your creation for us to enjoy and to steward. Thank you, Father, for the gift of family and friends. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of freedom. This morning, we want to pray for all the souls in purgatory. For all those suffering, for all those that have never known you, for all those seeds that could have borne much fruit but were stolen and are now being crushed. Lord, you made us in your likeness and image. You touched our eyes so we could see others like you. You touched our hearts so we could love like you, selflessly. But we let Satan manipulate this image to look like his image and likeness, living in selfishness. And many have not had the opportunity to gain salvation, ending up in the eternal fire. In 1 Peter 3.19 says, Jesus, you went down to hell to preach to the disobedient ones. You went down to give them another opportunity. Father, you gave us back our freedom when Jesus paid the price for it. And all we needed to do was to cast our burdens onto him that carried it all gladly for the love of his Father. And yet we chose to sell it to the devil in exchange for his five eyes of selfishness as Isaiah revealed to us in his chapter 14. Jesus taught us love for others. Satan taught us love for self. Father, let our eyes be opened. And we pray for each of these this morning in purgatory that have not had that opportunity to know you. That sold their freedom out of ignorance. That each of these might be forgiven their sin for your love's sake, Lord. Not for what each of them and us are worth, but for your love's sake. That they might be reunited with you. And as we pray for these, we also remember all those other cries of desperation who have not known you and are on the verge 
of entering this very same place. That even at the eleventh hour, their eyes be their eyes be opened, their hearts be turned to you, and out of that last cry for mercy, they might receive their one denarii of wage. And Jesus saying to them, "Today you shall be with me in paradise." As we pray this morning, we also remember our personal intentions, reflecting on this very thought: that our lives, the lives of every family member. Has not known you. Be changed. We pray for our friends, for our work colleagues, for all those in our community that have never known you, or that have rejected you, in favor of those five eyes, in favor of everything that leads them to think of themselves. And what they think is enjoyment. Let their eyes be opened, Lord. Let our eyes be opened, so that every bit of selfishness that leads us to think of I, me, and myself be burnt out. As we carry all of this, our burdens to you, Lord, we pray in that language that you gave us, the language that only you understand, as our Father, O Holy Spirit, and through your sighs and groans, you plead with the Almighty, the Most High, for that mercy on our behalf. We now pray with you as our spirits join with you, O Holy Spirit. That the truth in your word open our eyes, and through us, the eyes of many. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Shalom. Hallelujah. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, <laughs> <laughs> 
Praise you, Jesus. Your word is accomplished, Father. We have the courage to say in one voice, Jesus Christ is Lord. Let us all say together, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, Lord. As we say it in one voice, like in the book of Joshua, the walls of Jericho were torn down. Let everything that hell holds against these lost ones be torn down in the name of Jesus. The scripture I got was from Matthew 10, 5 onwards. Jesus sent out these 12 after instructing them thus, do not go into pagan territory or enter Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick. Raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. Thank you, Jesus. Let every seed in us honor our sower. That it might be sown on every ground. In the hope that we encounter fertile land that will receive and bear fruit in their lives. as he did in ours. Yes, Lord, freely you give us all of yourself for nothing in exchange. Instead, for our freedom, you give of your life. Help us to give back freely as well. Of everything that you teach us, for everything that you give us, for everything that you show us, for 
help us to give and seek to give and never focus on receiving while we were praying today uh, i saw a vision of a key and i was led on to this verse matthew chapter 16 verse 19 i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven i also confirm this word which brother russell just said taking him to different people across the world because i saw electric wires and electric wires carries electricity to different places the high voltage electric wires which we see outside is what i saw i confirm what janata has just said right now um especially about a key i seen a vision of a lock and a key and i was asking the lord for an interpretation because there was nothing else except for the lock and the key and then the lord showed me the sky just as he had shown it and the sky with many stars in it and he says do not fear just believe Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Just as the electric wires carry electricity across long distances. he wants people to be carriers of his mercy and grace that high voltage connection the presence of his light which illuminates all darkness in every home in every life in every heart all that the father wants is obedience to walk with him on his path the path he showed us through example the example of jesus walking with him on his path obedience even unto death is what jesus went through He wants our spirits to be a lot more malleable than it currently is. A lot of us are rigid, holding on to our conceptions, our limited understanding. And so he is not able to mold us, to make us into what he wants us to be. we need to surrender in order to be more valuable we need to be emptied in order for him to fill us with everything that is of him
Thank you, Father, for teaching us this morning, for revealing to us more of your will, more of what you want for our lives. And as we go about our day this morning, let us pray in a special way for Vivek, who will lead us through an enlightened teaching coming straight from the Holy Spirit. Our brother and our sister Shanin who will lead us into a night in worship through the gates of the tabernacle into the holies of holies, the presence of our Father himself. Mm -hmm. We pray a special protection around them yes, all through this day. That they be kept safe from the snares of the fowler, from all distractions of the evil one, from every temptation, and be led by the presence of the Holy Spirit as they lead the rest of us. Yes. We speak that wall of defense around them in the mighty yes. name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> this evening's topic will be another powerful topic, the gift of discerning spirits. Come with an empty spirit to be filled, to learn and gain every hidden gem and jewelry that comes from the storehouse of the Father. Come ready with an open heart to receive those gifts. Especially this gift of discerning, very important. With all the voices we hear in our heads these days. Many masquerade as the angel of light, telling us to do a whole lot of things. Some of those could even lead us away from God. It is important to discern what those voices are, and which one is the one true voice of our God, the Holy Spirit. And that the grace and peace of Jesus be multiplied in us, each one of us in our lives this day, that we carry those electric cables of His mercy and grace to everyone we meet this day. Be blessed. For each of us are a blessing to everyone around us. In that same mighty name in his presence, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Rasul. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, the same, Brother Rasul.